First, though, a survey of over 3,000 adults has found that most people's Sundays are ruined by the fact they have to go to work the next day. Causes of the Sunday night blues range from piling workloads to not feeling able to do your job properly. Even Simon Cowell admitted, didn't he, to Piers Morgan this weekend, that his biggest dread as a child was those Sunday nights before school. Ooh, yes. Yes. So did we suffer Sunday blues when we were kids? And still, do we still get them? Do you still get oh, them? Oh, I used to hate that feeling on a Sunday night. Double mass. Monday yeah. morning. <gasps> oh, and you know what I used to hate? No disrespect, Sherry, because I know you were in it, but not at this stage. Um, <laughs> the music to Coronation Street. Oh. And it still brings back that memory because I knew as soon as that music started, my mum would shout me to come in and do my homework and go to bed. Bedtime. So every time I heard that, dun, 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 <laughs> I used to hide anywhere I could hide. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I still. And, and it's weird because I still get it on a Sunday from the time I wake up, though. Not like when well, it's time day. to go to bed. I wake up thinking, all oh, right, I've got to sort out for Monday. I think it's because on a Sunday now, if I'm here on the Monday, there's so much to sort out. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm coming oh, away from home, so things like I've that. got to make sure all Kira's, you know, bags. uniforms ready yeah. and her bags are sorted. If you're not working, blah, blah, blah. you still get it. Um, no, so not so much. Do. Well, I kind of do. It must just stay with you always. And it's it weird does. because with Kira, you know, from when I was a kid, it was the dread of, oh, no, I've got to do my homework. And I always left it till Sunday, left it <laughs> to the last minute. And then now, I've still got homework on a Sunday because she's got it and it drives me mad. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to go, I don't do homework anymore. <laughs> you have to you do. Know. We do more, we do more yeah, homework yeah, now. Yeah. It's all those projects, isn't yeah. it? We had to do a newspaper review or something this oh, weekend. Oh, I had to do electricity and circuits last night. <laughs> oh, nice. That's a good one. <laughs> Once again, I thank God I haven't got children. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sunday night for us was always bath night. Now, it, I, only on a Sunday, because we can actually only afford to put the immersion heater on once a week. It's still like that now. It is. Well, do you know what? Old habits week. do die hard, and I do still have a bath on a Sunday do night. You? Yeah. yeah. Is that really? It? You don't honestly. have one any other time? No, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I have showers and saunas in the week, but oh, for some so reason, sick. I always want to have a bath. But when I was little and we, we had a bath, it was only, could only run it once. So there were four kids, Ew. so we used to take turns on who used to get it first. Oh. And whoever got in it last, it and was it almost scum. like, yeah, it was oh, like a scummy, scum muddy soap. mess. Oh, it was horrible. Oh. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So that, but once we'd had the bath, then sometimes we were allowed to watch Sunday Night at the London Palladium. Oh, so yeah. Oh, yeah. That was a nice little treat. That. Not all the time, but occasionally. I'll tell you what, though, I think Sunday can be the loneliest day of the week. And I think well, a lot of people you. are. It is. <laughs> well, it can be, actually, but I think. Oh. I think no, but oh. the thing is, <laughs> wipe away a tear there. Um, no, I Do you think cook it, yourself a little roast. Do you go and get one of those roasts well, in the when I was When I was married, I always did a roast on a Sunday. Always did a roast on a Sunday. Now I go and get the little one like that, and one potato, one potato. and one or a, a carrot, and a carrot, oh. and a pea. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but, Most you know, single people just buy two of everything, so that yeah. people don't stare at the basket and go, "Ha ha, on your own." <laughs> <laughs> That's you can come to my, you can come to mine for Sunday. But, I do, but Sundays are all right. I mean, I do think people find it lonely on a Sunday. But now, you know, when there never was a shop open, was there? No, nothing was open nothing. on a Sunday. And now, of course, the shops are open, and so people would feel very different. Mm. But I'm like you. On a Sunday night, it was always Keely. And you know, on Monday morning, there'd be like four bags for this and four bags. I think. What's she taking to school? What does she think? I, I think people's. No, but you think she did live there. By the time you've packed everything, isn't it true, Colleen? Yeah. Yeah. There's loads of bags on. I mean, I kept sending. I keep sending all these bags, hoping that maybe it's turned into a boarding school or something. But <laughs> <laughs> she comes home that. again. I think people's <laughs> expectations of, of weekends, particularly Sunday, are too high. Though you, yeah. know, you have this impression yes. that there'll be coffee roasting, mm. and you have the Sunday papers, and the sun will be shining. Uh, Eamon and I went to Portugal, <laughs> a little flip to Portugal this weekend, and it rained the whole weekend and I was so miserable and Eamon was trying to put a happy spin on it Aww. going, oh well, it's warm rain <laughs> <laughs> not cutting it not cutting it at all I have to say though, this Sunday was probably a, a, my best Sunday so far, I didn't have that feeling at all because I don't know whether you watched Dancing on Ice this Sunday don't tell me because I've taped it well, I have to tell Truly. you this bit don't tell me who won I have lost. to tell you this bit Danny yeah. <laughs> what did you do? did anybody see it? Did anybody see it? What's he doing? Oh, have a look at this. Honest to God. This kept me going all night. Wait for yeah. it now. See, I thought, no, that's Shine. good enough. Oh. That's good enough. That Wait for chest? this next bit. Wait. Oh, oh my God. Oh. 
come on now, let's be honest, that would cheer anybody's Sunday night up. That's, that's <laughs> cheating. Honestly, talk about electricity and circuits, I knew all about it by the end of that. <laughs> and can I just ask, how many times did you rewind that? And what I place? actually... Sky Plus, just that bit. <laughs> <laughs> I, going, I just want to see that... You know, <laughs> just the technique just you're the looking technique, at, just yeah, the footwork. Absolutely. But if you show on Friday, yeah. yeah. Well, that just certainly did a warm up of your Sunday. Thank yes. you. <laughs> uh, talking of Sundays, next Sunday, of course, is Mother's Day. Everybody, get it in your diary now. Do not forget that. And for that reason, we're launching a new heartwarming feature this week called Mum's the Word. And we'd like to hear what pearls of wisdom your mum has passed on to you. And they have an awful many pearls of wisdom, mothers, don't they? Mm. Can you recall the kind of best? words of advice your mum's given you? My mother always used to say all sorts of things because my granddad did but one was like always make the best of yourself you know always be turned out well and then there was one where you can take a pig to water but you can't make it drink. It's a horse. Oh is it a horse? Oh, a horse? horse? <laughs> you can't make a silk purse out of a pig's ear or something like that. That's the a other cow's one. ear? No, a cow's ear. Oh I don't know. Is it a sound? <laughs> See I've got yeah, so silk. confused by all of that. No idea. But she was always said that. No you wonder. No, but you have to make the best of yourself. So I've always kept that because my mother always you do, looks. You do, fan she always looks fantastic. No matter what, she looks absolutely so do you. gorgeous when she goes up. And I've always tried to keep that. You know that I always will dress and I won't go to the dustbin without full makeup and you know um, all of it. But just don't keep trying to get that pig to drink water because it's. Never yeah. <laughs> I've got to say, my mum's my mum's saying. Whatever happened in my life, if people hurt me or, you know, when you, the first love of your life lets you down, you know, her, always her same words, don't worry, what goes around comes around. She yeah. always Ooh, used to say that. I like that one. And that's what it's she's true, right. Yeah. She's a great believer in faith. The worst thing she always said to me, and I can't bear it, and I swear to God if I ever say it to Kira or the boys when they're upset, I will absolutely hit myself, is, don't worry, there's plenty more fish oh, in this. No. Oh, oh, no. no. You know, you when you're heartbroken... Yeah, you just think, I don't want just any fish. <laughs> and the other one is, the other one is, the other one is, is, this is the first day of the beginning of you, your life, and because tomorrow never comes, so this day is the most important day of your life, which well, is it, true. it does, it does. My mum always used to say, she used to hate it when she'd go on holiday. Not because she missed me or anything, but she didn't trust <laughs> aeroplanes. And she never flew, she never left the country, my mum, not once. She yeah. was, yeah, total, total home bird. And um, she would say to me, every time I get on a plane, she'd go, oh, I just, I don't trust it, I don't trust, don't do it, don't go. And I'd go, why, mum, why? She'd go, because if man was meant to fly, he would have been born with wings. <laughs> Well, don't worry, Mum, because, you know, millions of planes take off every day and they don't crash, so don't worry. And it never, ever, ever made her feel any better. Oh, mothers. Oh. Oh. Don't you love her? Mine, mine always said, if a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well, so I hope I'm doing all right, Mum. Oh. OK, yeah. We'd like to know what um, you think about all the things your mum said to you. Email uh, her words of wisdom that uh, she's imparted over the years, which have had the most impact on your life, whether it was a pearl of wisdom, a motherly warning, or perhaps a funny story, how she tried to reason with you, which they do sometimes. We don't listen, they do. We'd love to hear them. Send your emails to loose.women at itv.com by Thursday, the 11th of March, please, at 5pm is the cut-off time. And uh, we'll read out some of your favourites on the show throughout the week.